Welcome to Scale Modeling Videos. Today's video is about how to apply dry transfer decals. Now dry transfer decals, as you see here, are very different to water slide decals. They come on a transparent film with a paper back. Okay? In this video, I'm going to show you four examples of how I apply these dry transfer decals the proper way, and one example where something has gone wrong and uh, what to do to fix it. The first thing that you want to do is cut out the piece of dry transfer decal that you wish to apply. Okay, You then apply some masking tape to one side of it uh, and then position it where you want. Uh, be careful uh, with the positioning because you only get one chance with dry transfer decals. I'll explain that later. Okay, Once you've positioned it, right, like I have here, then apply masking tape to uh, the at least two, or in my case, I've applied it to three sides of the dry transfer decal. Okay, as you're seeing here. Once that's done, I like to take the back of a paintbrush, which is nice and round, and then rub it on the decal. Okay, you keep rubbing. Uh, this is in times one speed, you, so you can actually see how long it generally takes to apply uh, one of these dry transfer decals. Okay. Uh, now, something uh, which I said earlier uh, is that you only have one chance with dry transfer decals. If you apply them in the wrong spot, uh, you'll have to sand them off. Okay, because they damage the paint underneath and they don't come off easily without uh, really scraping uh, at them to get them off. Unlike with water slide decals. So be careful where you apply them, because like I said, you only get one chance. So this one, once I've done uh, rubbing it with the paintbrush, I then use a Q-tip to rub it again. Okay, as you're seeing here. I'm just going to let the video explain further. Once I think that the decal has uh, been applied, I lift part of the decal to see if it, if it has actually fully set. And as you can see, when I lift this, the decal has been applied to the paint and none of it remains stuck to the transparent part. So just take it off. And here you can see the decal has been applied properly. Okay. I'm now going to show you three more examples, which uh, might be in a slightly faster speed than this one. Next, I'm going to uh, apply a much smaller dry transfer decal. Okay. I'm going to follow pretty much the same process again and uh, from here on end I'm going to let the video do all the explaining.
Uh, the last dry transfer decal I'm going to show you uh, is going to be one where we uh, have a few problems, okay? So firstly, I'm going to apply the dry transfer decal just like I've applied the others using some masking tape. Now here, instead of using uh, the back of a round paintbrush, I'm using the back of this tweezer and then the back of this brush, which is much more flat than the previous one that we used, okay? And you will see the difference in the uh, final result that we're going to get. As you can see, as I lift this, the decal, the dry transfer decal, has not actually been applied, even though we rubbed over it for uh, quite a bit there. Okay, so I'm just going to reapply masking tape and start again. Okay, I'm going to lift it again for a second time, and as you can see, it still hasn't been applied properly, okay? So the point I want to make here is, uh, you really have to rub it for quite a bit of time, okay? To ensure that it has been applied properly. And you lift the uh, transparent film slightly to see if it's been applied properly, okay? Now here I'm finally using the brush that I've been using before, uh, and we'll see what happens next okay so I'm gonna lift it again but because I didn't rub sufficiently with that brush some of the dry transfer de uh, decal still hasn't been applied okay now I'm gonna let the video uh, explain the rest Here it is, uh, it's finally been applied, okay? Uh, I hope uh, you liked the video. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.